I had a video on this thing three or four years ago. This is the YSD bedside table lamp. It actually made its way to the WIF's desk, and it's got a lot of features to it. It has a clock, as you see there. Um, although the it's 12:36 now, when it's not 10, 11, or 12, it always displays a zero there and shows uh, AM or PM. It's not 24-hour time. It does have a speaker on top, Bluetooth, or you can plug in on the back a micro SD card or even line in. And in addition to all of that, it lights up. And it's got different colors and all kinds of great stuff like that. But it's got a problem. That. So we have to fix that. This came to a head the other day when we changed the clocks and uh, the whiff went and changed this clock and lost that. Fortunately, I found it. I've been, I, you know, I've known that I needed to fix that, but just haven't. It works without it, but still, it's here. I have it, so might as well. So what I thought I'd do is try to repair this using something called adhesive transfer tape. This is Scotch 924 adhesive transfer tape. I've used this on the channel a number of times before, here and there. I don't have that much use for it. We used to use it a lot at Tiny Middle, but um, that is no longer needed, of course. And what it is, is adhesive it's double stick tape on a backing and when you peel away the backing you're left with just a thin sticky film so my idea is to tape over this thing cut it out with a razor blade and stick it on and we'll see if it works I don't know if it will or not uh, I'm just gonna get you know a nice size piece here I know I don't need one anywhere this big and hopefully it won't stick to my fingers, which it's doing. So maybe we'll just try doing that. That's close enough right there. And now the idea, hopefully, is that I can just sort of carve this out. That might be enough there. I should start in the in the tape itself. Something like that is kind of the idea. I'll peel this off. Leave that backing there and take this off and now I can just make sure that I've trimmed up enough which I think we're okay actually just like this if I just pick it up we have some excess here I'll trim that off it's not a perfect job it doesn't need to be because this is China and now we'll just peel off this backing hopefully leaving the adhesive on this thing yep there and then I could just sort of fold in the edge just like that and stick it down and it works and most importantly it won't fall off so I have just the tiniest bit of adhesive there which I can pick off and there you go absolutely perfect now that worked a treat Let's press it down real good That'll do. <laughs> nice.
it definitely worked well. There's still just the tiniest bit of adhesive there. You just gotta, you know, like work it out, scratch around it with your fingernail, and you'll get the rest off. We used to use this stuff at Tiny Middle for laptops when the screen, you took the screen off and it had these little plastic or rubber bumpers or covers over the screws for the screen. Nowadays, a lot of times they don't even use that anymore and it's just clipped. Um, but we used to use that for clips that broke. We just sort of put this stuff there and make believe it never happened and it worked. <laughs> It definitely worked. I think we ran out at one point and I had to actually buy some more and they didn't know where to order it, but I did, which was actually Walmart, at least at the time. And uh, I ordered it and they reimbursed me for it. So there we go. It's repaired once again. And now the WIF can press this button all she wants, hold it for color all that good stuff and it does what it's supposed to good that worked out a lot better and easier than I thought I tried using this before on a uh, on an oddware episode which I don't know if it has ever been released as of this point but even with as thin as this stuff is, I'll see if I can pick this up here. See how thin? It's really, really thin stuff. And if it doesn't ball up like that, you know, you just have the thickness of it, which is basically the thickness of the backing. It's pretty much the same. But it didn't work for that. That was actually too much lift. And it felt weird and didn't work. But uh, it worked for this because it had enough of a recess. So that's awesome. That's fixed. And now I don't have to worry about that thing at the top going missing anymore. And it looks factory. So you can't beat that. Nice quick repair. That's all I got. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you hit like. Make sure you hit subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.